Hey everyone, so today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Miniard. It comes in 135 scale, of course, and we have a part of their uh, so-called miniature series and here we have a US stake body truck G506. So in 135 scale this might be an interesting opportunity to build a, I would say, somewhat common vehicle and uh, let's say make it part of some diorama and why i'm a bit stuttered because i'm trying to read what is printed here on the site there are several marking options i will show them a bit later now uh, first of all i would like to mention that this is a commercial sample of the kit so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and kit number is 38067 so Box size, I would say it's somewhat standard for Miniard, so in case you build some of their previous trucks or um, stuff cars, then you will be familiar with this box, and here is comparison with my hand. Also on the side here you'll find some safety information and barcode, QR code, as well as the address of the manufacturer, while on the opposite side we can see these four marking options which I was just mentioned, so as you can see there are some interesting writings on the rear sections of the truck so it will be interesting to check it closer and of course this is a top opening box that's why it's easy to open and here is what we have inside you can notice that all parts are packed into the same plastic bag it's actually a sealed plastic bag and i'm going to open it with a knife and we will take a closer look together but um, as you remember, we reviewed the previous versions of this truck and they were quite all right. I would say they offer um, enough of the features out of the box. And this is definitely an interesting opportunity to work on the truck in 135 scale. Some of the packages actually included some additional bonuses. This one, as far as you can see, um, well, I do not notice any additional bonuses here but who knows maybe there is something hidden inside so as you can hear i've opened the plastic bag and first i would like to start with this envelope because usually mini art uses it for additional bonuses for the vehicle here we actually get the p fret and decals so let's close the lenses and zoom in as much as we can because here we have unpainted p thread so all of these parts will come handy for external and internal features on your truck and of course in 135 scale i think it's something to consider as a notable upgrade or bonus because uh, these items these parts these metal elements they actually add some fine details which cannot be copied with actual plastic parts and one more thing, as you remember, I said that we also get the decals in the same envelope. So here they are. And as you remember, they are printed in cartograph, so you shouldn't be worried about any possible quality issues. And I think application will be easy as well, so it's just a matter of choosing the marking option. And all of those writings are actually nice. And by the way, we also get the dials for the dashboard and also some of the manufacturer um, plates. And this is really cool. Again, in 135 scale, all of these features make sense. Next, we start with a gray plastic spruce. So first one is a BC. And here, as you can see, we have a mix of parts. And why it is a mix? Because, for example, here you can see the mod guards. Also, we have some parts for the wheel axles. We even have the... Uh, headlamp here as you can see it is protected with this frame and also some parts for the wheel axles again as well as for the brakes molding quality is really nice you can notice it in comparison with my fingertip they're really small even though this is a 135 scale it will require some due care in order not to break any of those parts but this is really cool because not that many brands actually go to such fine details out of the box and just to prove it, we have another pair of the spruce. Here we have uh, wheels. So, first of all, it's good that these wheels are plastic. As you can see, it's a sprue BA. And um, the second thing, which is really cool here, is that we get a lot of fine details on those wheels. So, if camera will focus, you can see that we have writings on the tire walls. This is not something what we actually get even in some resin alternative sets. So, it's really nice. And again, 
and because we have this uh, tire wall molded separately it means that you can paint it separately and avoid using the masks so it will give you a really nice paint finish on your wheels again you are not forbidden from making your own painting templates but i think this should suffice for the nice paint work. Next we continue with the sprue DA. This one is specific for today's version of the truck. As you can see those are rear panels and they well on the real truck they were actually wooden panels obviously and as far as you can see we have you now plain panels here so there is no wooden texture. I know that uh, some others will try to replicate it and in my opinion this is actually a good thing because here you get a choice whether you would like to go this or that way and of course even if we had the texture nobody stops you from sending them completely flat and then using them but here it would be a bit more tricky because we have actually the rivets on the wooden panels so that's why I'm saying it's uh, more handy and by the way if we flip them over here on the opposite side you can see some of the lock elements and this is really nice touch because manufacturer could have easily skipped on it but here we have them included next we continue with the sprue ce so this one will be handy for the bonnet section and as you can guess we have this uh, front grille protector i wonder why it is provided in two versions maybe you should combine them together maybe there are some slight differences between them um, next also we have this uh, side panels for the bonnet and you can see that we have some pre-molded details such as uh, brand of the truck and this is really nice touch which actually asks for some weathering and here you can check these parts from the opposite side next we continue with another small plastic sprue it's a sprue ef so here we have the leaf springs and also some parts for the chassis i would say it's nothing special in a good sense because as you can see these parts look quite fine and i hope that leaf springs will be easy to install and actually to get the right alignment with the overall chassis setup next we continue with the sprue gi so as you might have heard i was opening the now separate plastic bag because this is a clear sprue and here we have all the glasses for the front cap everything looks fine but again remember that there are no masks included into this kit this is a typical thing for mini art so nothing surprising and maybe there will be some aftermarket sets which will help you with masking all of these clear parts next we have some more parts for the front cap nothing special Maybe the only notable thing is that they are, as you can see, not plain. They are actually molded as a 3D parts, would say. And this is a really nice design which shows which, what you can achieve with the modern technologies. Another good example is this uh, chassis bar. So as you can see, there are two. And again, we have a lot of pre-molded features here. Of course, some guiding elements for the bars, which will be connecting them together. And overall, we have thin attachment points, so I don't think it will be difficult to separate these parts. Obviously, make sure to use the right tools so that you get a cleaner cut on your parts. Next we have a sprue CD. So here we have more parts for the rear section. Again this nice flat bed. Uh, it's molded as a single piece part with some guiding elements here for the chassis bars. So it will be easier to align everything together. And next we have the sprue BJ. So this one also carries parts for the rear section. As you can see it's just the simple bars and locks. Next, one more thing is the FB. Here we have the uh, sprue with parts for the interior of the front cap. As you can see, everything looks all right. And if I flip it over here, you can check the parts from the opposite side, obviously. And next, one more thing is the sprue FA. So this one is a bit more interesting. And if I zoom out, you understand why. Because here we have the separately molded front doors. We also have the windscreen frame. So in theory, you can just insert the Clio parts into this frame and you will be good to go. So no masking will be needed. And of course, we have this front firewall for the front cap. But again, the separate doors, it means that you can open them obviously and it might be handy for some diorama ideas on your truck and again in 135 scale if you find some really good figurines 
it might be a really good opportunity to use them. Next we continue with the Sprue BF. Here we have another nice bonus from Miniard because not that many brands actually focus on something what is hidden under the bonnet. Here we get the nicely detailed engine and of course you can add for example wiring here, you can add some weathering, but then you have to think how to open it on the assembled vehicle because as far as I remember here the bonnet should be closed but again i'm seeing the separate bonnet panel here so maybe you can just position it open and it will be a good thing to expose the engine next we continue with the sprue f e here we have the parts or panels for the front cap and as you can see the design i would say somewhat predictable for such element Note that we have several versions included here, so you have to pick the right version of the parts. And if I flip it over here, we have also some minor features for the cap floor, also for the cap roof here, but here we have only the push marks, which obviously should be sanded off in case you plan to open the uh, front cap. Next, we continue with another set of parts, so just give me a moment. That's the final sprue and actually the biggest one and the sprue is A. So here we have the spare wheel, also we get the separate bonnet, we get wheel fenders, some of the leaf springs, suspension parts, more elements for the transmission and everything looks good. For example here you can see the wheel axles and here we have some bonnet panels but I guess those ones we will not be used. We will actually install the ones which we saw on the separate sprue. Fuel tanks should be glued out of those separate panels and if you flip it over here you can check these parts from the opposite side. Okay so that's all for the plastic elements and now we can move to another important thing of course this is the assembly manual here I will have to close the lenses a bit zoom out and now you should be able to see that here we have a typical mini art brochure of course short list of the features which are um, let's say included into this kit first marking guide is here it's a blue truck and then we continue with the parts map on the parts map as usual we do not have the um, designation for the parts which will not be used in the assembly that's why you will have to pay attention and you can notice that the building process starts with the main chassis bars then we continue with the fuel tank also this uh, leaf springs wheel axles here we continue with more parts being installed onto this chassis here by the way you can notice the engine assembly getting started and then we add more equipment on the engine, various minor elements and then the engine getting installed into the place. By the way here you can also notice that manufacturers suggest to assemble the spare wheel. Obviously it's not the best step to get it into the spot but it will be up to you whether you would like to follow the suggestions of the manufacturer. And on the next page you can notice the front cap being assembled and there are actually several positions for the side windows so you can also get them in the open position. And the same I think was applied to the windscreen. So it is separate and on this track it could be lifted. And the same can be said about the front doors so you can open them as you remember. And now I wonder about the bonnet. By the way here you can notice the windscreen. So here we assemble the front guard out of P parts and those um, 3D shapes they are actually used as a template for the right uh, forming or shaping of the P parts. And here you can notice, well, actually manufacturers suggest the parts for the open bonnet version so you can expose the engine on your track, so this is really great. And then we proceed with the rear bed assembly. We also build the, or glue together the wheel parts. Here you can notice the exhaust getting into the place. And that's pretty much all. So whole process looks more or less understandable, I would say, and easy. Here you can notice that there are 60 steps in total. That's the second marking option, which is quite powerful because we have a combination of different uh, paints here. And the third one is on the bottom and the fourth one is on the last page. So another quite powerful truck option uh, 
for the marking but of course you can also notice uh, or find something different if you have a chance to get some reference material for this track I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. As usual, you can get it in Modelimax, as well as the other releases from Miniart, ICM, Masterbox and other brands. And of course, if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today, and bye.